Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. And yeah, I, I just realized that I do not have my and my dog also saying hello with his traditional cough or whatever that is. Um, but yeah, I just realized I did not have my uh, headset on. And yeah, welcome. Uh, this is my floating head coming to you on Twitch. <laughs> It doesn't spin. It does not spin. Hello, Lucas. How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, this is not perfect. The way I managed to to get this done, it's not perfect. Like you, you can see tiny bits of my jacket. I had a T-shirt first, but uh, it has some letters on it, so it would kind of ruin the immersion. Uh, but also, you can see a, a little bit of a yellowish stuff. It's going to be hidden. For the most uh for the most part but uh i did manage to get this done <laughs> kind of i had to tweak my green screen settings a bit because the the jacket shirt i'm wearing is not the same shade of green as my green screen and it was i can actually show you uh how it would look like um it's not a big big deal so if I go here to filters, um, this is how it would look if I didn't change anything. So you can see, yeah, it's not really floating, but uh, yeah, I managed to get it working. It it changes a, a bit the way the green screen works around me, but I, I think it's it's kind of okay. How are you doing, everyone? And how are you doing, Lucas? Good morning to you, or good afternoon, I would say. Uh, I hope you are all doing well. So yeah, this is going to be a, a little bit of a different thing today with with my floating head, the product of the community challenge I started just about a week ago, a little more than a week ago, but it, it would have been completed in, in about a week had I streamed last Friday. Um, so yeah. Because of that, today I am a simple floating head just with my microphone here and nothing else. <laughs> and nothing else. Should have installed a floating head mod for, <laughs> for CK. True. True. That is actually true. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if there isn't one, if there isn't one, some someone should create that uh, there there is there are occasions in which children are actually kind of floating i have seen that before uh they are kind of floating for some reason they are sitting but floating <laughs> yeah the the many mothers that watch my channel you you take a look at that so yeah you see floating hand as well i should have i I should have, uh, I should be wearing like a, a green glove and then the, the coffee mug cup would be floating. But yeah, um, so it took me a bit longer after the timer, the timer finished to actually come to the stream because I was, uh, yeah, brushing my teeth, getting the coffee and then I had uh, a door an outside door going to the backyard still open so i i thought it was a good idea to close it because i will probably not be aware if someone <laughs> tries to break in my house well it wouldn't be breaking in right if the door was open it would technically not be breaking in um and one thing that i want to tell you is that i'm uh, waiting for a package to arrive today so most likely uh during the stream the the mailman will um yeah how do you call it? it's not hitting the door it, it won't knock the door ring the bell the the mailman will ring the bell my dog will bark and and i'll have to to pause the stream to go pick up the package uh but it shouldn't take too long um but yeah welcome in everyone i'm actually going to swap to the main screen already um and you can maybe see that there's something a little bit weird around here 
I mean, yeah, it's weird. Because if I was going to play multiplayer today, for some reason, I don't know, maybe I may need to play some multiplayer in the near future. Apparently, I wouldn't be able to. Because uh, the Paradox Launcher was having some issues and I wasn't able to connect my account to it. So I'm not really sure what what the issue is. Like, I, I played this yesterday and it was fine. And today, yeah, for some reason, it's it's not cooperating. Hit the door. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It works for you. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm. it said it was a connection problem. But fortunately, my internet connection is working fine with, with the stream. So I think that thing about selecting the... I'm going to already continue this. The thing about selecting the, the Twitch server manually is probably fixing my issues. Probably. I, I won't say that everything is fixed already. But uh, yeah, maybe maybe things are going well now. I will check that later on, Lukas. I will check that later on. Um, so last time, last week when we were playing this, I was really scared. I was really scared because the Mongol Empire is atrociously huge. This is atrociously huge. The one thing that I am positive about is that um, there was an unfortunate accident and some thugs killed the previous uh, Khan. I mean, I may have had something to do with that. But he died under suspicious circumstances, so yeah, two days ago. That happened two days ago. Um, the problem is that that wasn't fast enough uh, to prevent them from conquering Dylam. G G G G O O D D D D. This text to speech. What a shame. What a shame. It does not work. Hello, Fox. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for 23 months of subscription to my channel. That is almost two years. That is almost two years, man. This is so crazy, so crazy. Thank you so, so much for your continued support. I hope you're having a great start of, of your day, a great Tuesday morning. Hello, Abuelo. How are you doing? Welcome in, welcome in. Good morning to you as well. So people from the other side of the, Atlant the Atlantic are now joining. So you, you are coming with the sunset invasion <laughs> of Europe. I hope you are, the two of you are doing well. Um, so as I was mentioning, I could not prevent the Mongols from conquering uh, Dylam, the kingdom of Dylam, which is now... Does it still exist? It's not this. This is apparently a kingdom title. Uh, where is the Kingdom of Dylam? There is no Kingdom of Dylam. Or maybe... Wait. Ah, no. Okay. So the young Khan still holds the the Kingdom of, of Dylam. The Khanate of Dylam. Himself. And I think my... Dynasty members, yeah, now holds only the Principality of Dylam. So this kid 
from the Sarkis house, house Sarkis. I healed. That's a, <laughs> a pretty good motto. I don't know what exactly do they heal, but yeah, apparently they heal. Um, he holds this. I might have a few more. Yeah, there are a few more of my family members who are... Oh, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem because if the Mongols invade me, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to call these people as my allies. God damn it. This is getting complicated. The, the Mongol Empire is, is ridiculously large and they have 72,000 soldiers. They're defending... Yeah, but come on, <laughs> they're defending a war and they have like more than 10 times Akari claim on the county of Dinawar. Yeah, this is not going well for them. The defender controls the war target. Oh, so basically actually these guys might actually make it work because i'm thinking that the mongol soldiers are still coming from the capital all the way down here and i'm just confused with the fact that they are not going for the war target itself because they might actually get this and, and win this war but anyway anyway they are not doing well at the moment working as always and really tired ah that sucks that sucks it's going to be a long day i see it's going to be a long day the, the weird non-europeans <laughs> the weird non-europeans you're here to take down the mongol empire it seems you won't yeah the guys these guys are huge like, if they come for me, my only chance is that I quickly siege a lot of this and start gaining some war score and, and just wait for their soldiers to come. And I do hope that this child cannot uh, declare war until he's 16. I really hope that's the case. I'm pretty sure that children cannot um, cannot go for war and cannot declare wars. He's currently fighting a defensive war, so that's that's why it's um, it's happening. So, and in the meantime, just by the end of of last stream, I declared war on the Byzantine Empire and I declared war for the Duchy of Anatolia, which is a big chunk of land. Oh, that's also part of the. Okay, I'm also going to take that. Am I going to take anything else? No. Okay, just that random county over there because the Duchess holds that at the moment. Okay, fine. That's that's fine, I guess. Um, and the Byzantine armies are here because they are fighting another war, if I recall correctly. Let me check this. Yes, they are defending against a claimant uh, for the Byzantine throne. And they are doing well on that. But they are focused on that one, which means I'm going to be able to do this pretty easily, I think. I think it's going to be pretty easy. Screw the Byzantine Empire. The goal now is to take the Mongols. Mongols, Mon Mongols, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Horse lords, horse lords, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? That sound, both of them sounds okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I do need to focus on, on the Mongols. I hope that they don't attack me in the meantime and that I can gain a bit more land. 
um, from the Byzantines. Make them weaker. How are they de jure? They do not hold that much. But I think the empire will only collapse if they have less than 20% uh, of their de jure lands. Probably de jure Dutch. Well, maybe the counties. It probably counts counts the counties. Okay, so let me see this. This these are their borders. If I go here. Nah, yes, they still have pretty a pretty big chunk of, of their de jure borders. They missed this bit in the Italian peninsula. Croatia. And most of what I have in Georgia. But it's still quite a lot. Like even if I take all of the Anatolian Peninsula. Or if they lose all of that. I think it's still not enough. They will probably still be well above the 20%. So the Empire will not collapse um, immediately. Anyway, so let's raise my troops. Let's raise them in a good spot. Uh, so moving the rally point. The rally point is going to be here in Cappadocia. And I shall raise all my troops. It's going to be super expensive, but I do think I need all my troops. Wow, this split it in eight different armies. Jesus. The chaos of battle. Wow, we just now started. A sword strikes across my chest plate. An elbow slams into my helmet. A soldier easily avoids my clumsy counter. The mock battle rages around me, but I struggle to find my focus. I am tempted to let my guard down as soon as the fighting lulls, but I know the second assault is about to start. Meet the assault head on. I may gain showed vigor with plus one prowess, or I may become wounded. And it's basically a 50-50 chance for that. Uh, I'm humble, so I, I will admit my lack of ability for this. I'm, I'm not as good as I used to. I'm 60 years old. Come on, I'm, yeah, I would have 38 prowess if it wasn't for old age. I will withdraw for a moment and lose some stress. Okay, that is not a big deal. Inspiration realized. We got a new tapestry. Here, my lord! A large satin tapestry of excellent craftsmanship. The cloth depicts a hunting scene. Several hunters armed with bows and spears. I never said no if it's spears or spares. No, spears. Spears. Surround a wounded animal and are about to deliver the death blow. This is lovely. Giving a lot of renown. Let me quickly check my court artifacts. So, the new one I just got. Where is it? It's this one, right? Yeah. Does this say when the artifact was created? Ah, it should have a date. No, history. Ah, it does. 21st of August. Yeah, this is the one. Um, so this gives me plus 0.10, plus 0.1 renown, plus 8 dynasty opinion, plus 3 court grandeur. And it can go there. Oh no, it's not going to replace the, the wolf, the wolf fur. Sorry, Lukash, you, you might not like seeing this, but, uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Actually, these ones are better. This one gives a bit a bit less renown, but more prestige. <laughs> Hunters with spears. You didn't know Crytek created spears as weapons. Wow, wow. 
Oh, is that... Is that the... The dev? For the... The hunting game you play? Is that it? I'm guessing that's it. Wait, I was looking... What was I looking at? No, it's this one. Yeah, this is not as good. So I'm going to keep it away for now and maybe give it to someone. The devs of Hunt Hunt Showdown. Yeah, I, I just shamefully called it the hunting game you play. <laughs> Enemy ally joins war. Duke Nicola the Impaler of Benevento. Yeah, I, I should call my allies, right? Call Dynasty members. I cannot. Because he's on the... S <sighs> Wait, what? Huh? So, this guy is part of my dynasty. He's one of the current vassals of the Mongol Empire. Sure. But it says I cannot call him because he's on the same side as the Basilus in another war? Why... Why is he on, on this war? I see Duke Kaching as well there, so Duke Kaching. Actually, there is no Duke Kaching I can call. So who is that Duke Kaching? My cousin. My cousin and vassal. Wait, what the heck? My cousin and vassal. Is fighting alongside who oh, is allied to the Byzantine Emperor. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So probably one of his sons is married to a daughter. Of the Emperor? I am so confused at times. I am so so confused. Yeah, I'll 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 believe it's something like that. It's called hunt. <laughs> okay. Uh I don't know, sometimes that those alliances go away. Sometimes those alliances go away. I don't know. Ah, okay, it's this one. It's this one. So one of the Duke's sons is married to a sister of the current emperor. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I was just confused because she's apostolic and I was not... Spotting that. I guess I may have made her apostolic. I totally did not know this this was the case, but okay. Sure. Yeah. That is true. That is true. I can do that. I can do that. Uh so it would be no, not this. God damn it, what am I doing? No, it's not this. It was this, and this, and then... Duke Kaching. It says here, yeah. Thank you, I totally forgot. Through marriage between Maletius and Princess Alexia of the Byzantine Empire. Yeah. That, I mean, I got there. I got there, but... 
just took me a, li a little bit longer. Took me a little bit longer. Thank you. <laughs> I also cannot... Come on, why? Why doesn't she accept this? Because she hates me. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Am I in trouble? Okay. Prince Arsen of Shirvan. Pretty good alliance. Let's call him. Uh, King Nicholas of Pontus is also joining. I'm just losing some renown, but that is not a big issue. Uh, Prince Ashant also joining. And I might keep the other alliances because the other ones are not that strong and I'll just spend renown. Uh, calling house members. I do not think I spend anything here so yeah let's call you count hagop of dinawar a baroness she doesn't have any troops well but you do count vagarshak oh these names just kill me count nikolaus of sebastia yeah pretty small vassal or ally but I, oh but these guys are inside the mongol empire so it's actually <laughs> it's actually cool that i can do this uh countess mathilde pretty good one oh do you want me to say this one the name of this culture fontanausian because they speak i german so yeah Hontenhausian. I'll stop, I'll stop. Don't worry. Let's call Countess Mathilde to, to this one. And yeah, I think everything is... Can I do you one favor? Uh, shoot it. Bring it on. Unless it's a favor to ask me not to speak as if I was a German again. <laughs> so I have plenty of armies around. Uh, where is the one with the siege equipment? Because it's probably just a single army with siege equipment. It's this one. So this one is going to focus on sieging. Ooh. I'm so going to lead this. I'm the best commander they can have. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is so going to happen. And I saw that Count Avedish has the siege engineer uh, trait, military engineer. So he is also going to focus on... So this is the second army of Komitanasush, this one. Yeah, he's also focusing on sieging. So let's start sieging. And this is my army going for sieging as well. And I think all the others are not. Open my character screen. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, wait. It might be even easier if I, if I do this. Uh, it's, it's not as large as I wanted it to be. And I, uh, it's not going to work. I know what you want to do, but it's not going to work. How can I do this? How can I do this? Um... <laughs> Like, if I get up, I'm not sure this. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, let's go like this. And... Nah, it, it doesn't work as well. But I know what you want to do. I know what you want to do. Is, is it good enough? It's not as good. It's not as good as you would like it to be. 
But yeah, here I am. Here I am with my medieval uh, clothes and my headphones, my wireless headphones. Totally on character. Actually, wait, wait, wait. I can do something different. I'm so stupid. Just give me a tiny bit. Actually, I'm using the the wrong camera. I I have the camera in a different place than what I usually have for CK. So let me just quickly do something here. CK3. Add it to the main stream. Okay, it's there. Still not there. And I can actually do this. Of course I can do this. You still you still have the the microphone there, but it's um wait, wait, wait. Let me at least get rid <laughs> let me at least get rid of this. And no, not this. And this one. Get rid of this and this. Well, there's still the microphone. But it's it's better, I guess. I guess it's better now. <laughs> That's what he asked, but shouldn't have. Ah, uh, you see, you see, you request, I provide. Pure gold. <laughs> I'm actually. I, I have to take a screenshot of this. Uh, um. Let me just make sure I get it right. And there you go. Okay. Should be fine. Should be fine. And now let me just quickly put this back here. And with this again. And get rid of that. In just a second. And we should be good now. Yeah, we're good now. Okay. <laughs> After this little weird moment, but that was pure gold with my floating head. <laughs> um provided to you by me, of course. I'm going to... How do I... Close this army? Oh, there... There's no way to actually just select. Ah, no, there is. There is. So I'm going to merge these two. I'm going to merge these two armies. And... I'm going to select this one and move it there together with this one. And this new army of 7,000 will go here. Oh, supply limit 2,000. Yikes, maybe maybe actually I should not be doing this. So you know what? You are going there. Yeah, you're going there. You're going there. And you shall go here. So this means that I think I only have one army above the... supply limit kind of except except there <laughs> king of, <laughs> of portugal <laughs> thank you for the clip thank you <laughs> okay let's unpause this and let's keep the war going are these guys not moving anywhere 
Wait, did someone just reject? I saw someone saying I fear something blah blah blah. They might have rejected. Yeah, many allies joining this army. The larger one will maybe stay here. Ooh, while performing his duties as my spy master, Prince Q has uncovered the secret held by my brother and friend, Baron Athom. He schemed from the shadows to have Charles. Charles. Oh, he actually did die. That was 22 years ago. Not only only cruel and heartless, but dishonorable as well. Okay. But is my brother and friend? I'm not going to betray him. It was a long time ago. The the crime as prescribed it's no longer valid. The fl <laughs> hum hum. That that was. I'm I'm sorry. Let's just rewind. That did not happen. New Archbishop. Faction against me. Uh, okay, so this was the previous Archbishop, right, Thorosh. And now the new Archbishop, he endorses me, he loves me, he still have, has 23,000 gold. If only I could find a way to, to get this from him. If only. Still trying to get claims on another county, trying to go for the duchy, of course. That army is a bit isolated there. Is this the one I'm controlling? I don't think so. No, it's not. Okay. That's an expendable army. I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that. Siege one. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah, let's take Philomelion, the barony of Philomelion. We're going to lose a few men going above the supply limit. Wait, my supply limit is 300. Wow, but it's down to 100 to 100 now. Or maybe it started at 100. Do I have any trade for that? Why do I have that? Is it just because I'm there? Is the supply always increased when you are leading the army? It says supply capacity increased by you. Leaving off the land. Oh, this is a perk I chose. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Uh, who are you, Agvani? You were in my prison. Okay, sure. I don't remember who she is. She has no family. No relationship whatsoever, so I have no clue who she was. Maybe like one of those who built something for me. This is going pretty well so far. Oh, we're fighting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Maybe this is not going that well. That army is being... Cut to pieces. Um... So yeah, this also goes up to 200. Oh, it was already over the supply limit there. Yikes. Ouch. So I need to... They are probably going to come for me pretty soon. We are finishing here. Relic in hand. My antiquarian Taplo has approached me with an idea. By sealing... By sealing... My veil of Veronica inside the handle of my King Kaching's dagger. I would always be closer to God when I wielded, wielded it. You would quite literally be touching a piece of heaven whenever you held your dagger. Taplo said 
a look of religious ecstasy glowing. Taplo said, probably with a look of religious ecstasy glowing in her eyes. I would always be close to God. So I lose the veil of Veronica, which I'm not using at the moment. Right? I do not believe I'm... I have that here. Uh, let me see. Court artifacts. All court artifacts. Veil of Veronica. It's close to the bottom, I think. Oh no, it's being displayed. Hmm. Is it this one? It's this one. So if I take this away... Crap, I won't have another one. This gives me plus 0.5 piety. And less construction cost for temple thingies. Am I... Am I where using this one? King Kaching's dagger. It's the one I'm using. Do I get all the bonuses from that? <laughs> Ecstasy. Ecstasy of gold. That's what you had before with my head on top of the king. I wonder if I get all the perks from this. I'm going to try it. I mean, it just says is embedded inside, so I should keep all the perks. Piety plus 0.5. Okay, let's do that. I would always be close to God. So I lose that. And my dagger. Oh. It became the dagger of Saint Samuel. Oh. <gasps> Yes, it put everything there. Wow, this is cool. This is so cool. It actually changed the name. Illustrious Dagger. Nice. This never, I never had this happening before. That is pretty cool. Dagger of Saint Samuel. Let's actually repair it. Pretty neat. A shame that I don't have a, an artifact to, to display here now, but yeah. With time, with time they will come. I got rid of the elixirs. I had two elixirs that I gave to my son because he's sterile. I wanted to improve his fertility. It's not working so far, by the way. I don't think he has any children yet. <laughs> Let me confirm it. Yeah, he lost his face, but... Um, Still no children. His sister, however, already has a son. And she's pregnant again. Okay. Uh, how is the line of succession? So it's my son and then my daughter. Okay. And then her son. Interesting. There's actually a pretty good chance that I will be playing as a woman for the first time in almost uh, 200 years. That will be nice. That will be nice. So this army is moving here because they are... The Byzantines are going to win that battle. I was totally unaware of that. They did come to me faster than I was expecting. And yes, they as expect as I expected, they are coming here. We are going to complete the siege before they get here. Is it going to be the case? Three days? Come on. Come on. And I now I need to move here. Yes, we completed the siege, so we are controlling. We should be defending. Oh, I should have been faster. And actually. I underestimated their their forces. Uh, I'm going to take my troops to a meat to a meat grind. I have a huge advantage, actually. 
Oh, we're winning the battle anyway. We are winning the battle because King Mzez, what a beast, what a beast. I'm not even, yeah, I'm not going to take the armies there. There is no need for that. There is no... Uh, no, let's, let's, let's make it even easier. Because <laughs> why not? This is a huge, huge win. Massive win. Yeah, we won the battle. Nice. So this is the one I lost. Minus 1% war score. And then I won this. Plus 28% war score and a thousand fame. From winning a single battle. Wow. Wow. I'm getting close to the living legend. This is the, the one I lost. Uh, details. Like I lost a thousand men. And they lost almost six thousand. Huge. Huge battle. And I did not lose any of my knights. They didn't as well. Just Prince Bagur got wounded. Wow, this was a really good one. Really, really good one. All thanks to, um, to my army. So can I replenish my supply here? Because this is controlled by me. I'm pretty sure I can. And also I need to split this in half. Just spread the multiple armies. To try to replenish. Let's go back here. I think, are they all on the move? Maybe not. Let's keep on moving, because this is going well. We're at 69% war score. Despite our best efforts, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets here, here at court. However, I still believe there is something going on in the shadows. I only need a little more time to determine what that is. Uh, yeah, we shall find it. Let's keep on moving. Ah, still don't have the claim for the full duchy. Still don't have it. Right, so are we replenishing? Yes. And yes. And yes. And yeah, this one is fully replenished, but I think, yeah, it still needs to reinforce. This one is doing well. And you're replenishing. Everyone is doing just nicely. Right. What is there for me to siege here? Is this a barony? Yes, it is. But maybe let's... Now let's go here. Let's go to this one. To the border one and... This is a city. Ah, yeah. This is the barony I need to siege. It's being done. This is another one. This is actually going pretty well. No, you need to replenish still. This is going to, going pretty well. Um, let's move down here. And let's move you... Let's move my army here. Yeah. My daughter, Gadar, has given birth to a daughter. Since the little one is part of the Palavuni family, dynasty, she should be blessed with a good name. A good, easily pronounceable name? Hopefully. Come on. Yeva? Yeva sounds 
sounds just fine. Yeva sounds just fine. My granddaughter Yeva. Okay, so let's move on with this army as well. And we are going to siege this barony maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe not. While performing his duties as my spy master, Prince Q doesn't cover the secret held by my courtier, Yesunge, one of my commanders. The ways in which he seeks pleasure is revolting for any decent man to even think of. And yet he is not merely willing to willing, but eager. It feels so unnatural and sickening. No, it is unnatural and sickening. An offense against God. We should have his head floating around for everyone to understand what the punishment will be. <laughs> Servant, fetch me a bucket before I... But there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. The man just is just seeking pleasure. Okay, I don't know exactly what the Byzantines are trying to do because they could have attacked this army. But they are not doing it. Interesting. Interesting. Um, so this one is fully replenished of troops. Let's move here. Because they might be coming for this army. Which means you are going to stay here. Because I need some protection for these armies. Yeah, he's coming here. He's definitely coming here. Moving. He's moving away. Ah, now you're going. Nice trick. Nice trick, AI. Well done. Very, very well done. Let's go on and siege this one. Oh, this is my army. Maybe they were afraid. Uh, I think I need to, to protect my army. Come on, let's move. Let's go on the move. On the move. On the move. Because they are coming for my army. Oh, come on. Don't, don't. Why are my allies not going there? Why are my allies not joining the battle? Because <laughs> currently it's not going well. Reinforcements, please. Please arrive. Oh, I'm going to lose the battle. Am I not? Am I not? Maybe not. Maybe not. We might still make it. We might still make it. We are going to make it. Oh, but this was a close one. This was a close one. 77% war score already. While performing his duties as my spy master, Prince Cude has uncovered the secret held by my daughter, Gadar. My family is turning to be a bit murderous, a bit more than I would have liked. She schemed from the shadows to have Barbat murdered. Barbat the poet, maybe she didn't like his poetry. I have no idea who he is. No idea. Not only cruel, but heartless. And heartless, but dishonorable as well. Oh, war completed. Nice, because this battle just gave me... Which one is it? Wait, what? Ah, no, we'll be dismissed. Sorry. 15... It's this one, right? Slaughter. It was a slaughter at Phrygia. I lost 1,300 men. 
And again, they lost 6,500. Holy crap. 44% war score. The, what, the war is won. And now let's have a look at the... Oh, sh crap. This is going to look gorgeous. It's going to be beautiful. I get the Duchy of Anatolia with a bunch of uh, other stuff. Duchess Duchisa is going to become my vassal together with a few other counts. Enforce demands. And I think I can now actually uh, create the kingdom of Anatolia. This is a nice blob. This is a pretty nicely looking blob. I'm happy with myself. Can I? No, I cannot. No, I can't create the kingdom of Anatolia. I can definitely do that. And that would then give me the jure claims on those duchies. That would give me the jure claims on those duchies. Nice. Let's disband the army. So yeah, I'm not going to make the same mistake I did with the Kingdom of Pontus. I will first try to get everything that belongs to the Kingdom of Anatolia. I will create it. I will get every land that belongs to it. And then I will make it independent. That is the way to do it. Because when I created the Kingdom of Pontus, I immediately gave it independence. That was a mistake because then I don't have the de jure claims on, on this. Okay, so create, actually, ask my head of fate for gold first, because, yeah, why not? Why not? And now create the kingdom of Anatolia. Worst, the worst thing that can happen is if I create the... Hmm, it might get split upon succession. And my character is probably not going to last that long. Maybe I wait a bit for it, because I won't be able to declare war on the... on the Byzantine Emperor. Uh, when does the truce end? We have a truce. Yeah, it's five years. That's quite a lot. So I think I will wait before creating the Kingdom of Anatolia. I think that is the best option. I will keep the land for now. And when the truce breaks, I create the kingdom and I get the Casas Belli on that. Which also means that So I was trying to get a claim on stuff around here. County of Lycia. And this is the Jure part of the Kingdom of Anatolia. So I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this now. So you are going to stop and you are going to You are going to try to get some claims here. So there's this duchy, the duchy of Caldia. And that is exactly where I want to... County of Trapezios. Trapezos. This is the capital. So this is where I'm going to try to create a claim, to get a claim. Let's try to get a claim on this and try to make it a claim on the full duchy to break Byzantium a bit more. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look at... Oh, no. The little kid can actually declare wars. 
Wait, what? I was is just going for. <laughs> this is called Ooze Boy. <clears throat> Ooze Boy. He lost a lot of soldiers in the meantime. Like he had seventy something thousand. And now he only has 50,000. I like this. I like this. And he's declaring a war just for this. The boy is going for Ooze Boy. Ooze Boy? My boy. Sorry. Bad one. Dad joke. This is a poor dad joke. Also, this might become independent upon succession. Too many held duchies. Okay, Principality of Anatolia. I need to get rid of that. And I also have two extra counties. So let me see. This is the Principality of Anatolia. And the counties I control inside of it are... Pakatiana, which is there next to the border, and Pisidia. Okay, so they are next to each other. Right, these are the ones I have. So I need to give those away. Probably to new vassals that don't hold anything. Jovan, Josef, Duchisa. The Chisa was the previous Duchess. Does she like me? <laughs> Not really. I wonder why. I wonder why. Short rain? What do you mean short rain? I've been raining for so long. She hasn't been under my lead for a long time, but... Still, do they all have that thingy? Yeah, they do. High taxes, ambitious. This, these vassals don't like me at all. I might need to go on another tyranny uh, spree here and revoking a bunch of titles. I need to consider that. I definitely need to consider that. Okay. This is the Principality of Anatolia. The Kingdom... I already own this one. I'm just missing these ones. Oh, and the Duchy of Cappadocia is not created yet. Because I only have one of the, the counties. Okay. Fair, fair. Right, so Barony of Sozopolis. I'm going to grant this to Should I give it to my son? I could give it to my son already. He would be gaining some prestige, being at risk of being murdered. Good stuff like that. Good stuff like that. Um... On the other hand, this is a, an orthodox county, and if I put the zealous character there, I think people will not like that that much. So, Nicholas Palovani, humble, impatient, content. He likes me. You are a courtier, simply. 
how would you like becoming my vassal and the Count of Pisidia? I think you would like that. So I shall grant you that title. And Ayazani, 25 development. Jeez. These counties are so much more developed than mine. Maybe instead of promoting culture, I should actually be increasing development in my counties. Because <laughs> it's not looking that great. Like, my capital has 13 development. Yikes. Yikes. Let me look at the development map. Yeah. Stuff around Constantinople are so much more developed. I mean, I'm not the worst part of the map. By any means, but... Uh, yeah. Development growth plus 0.1 per month. I'm not clicking the capital. It's this one. Still. Oh, it's not growing. Development growth. There's no growth. Okay. Because the county capital is in the hills. This makes no sense. Why is development not growing here? I desperately need to put my... My stewards increasing... Development here. In the capital. God damn it. Why was this happening? Well, it at least it will go 3 plus 3.6 points up now every month. I should have done this a long time ago and I haven't I have not done that. I have arrived in Ani to pay homage to you, glorious king, as a show of my loyalty. I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty, as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Show Count of Edis in at once. It all went well. I accept your generous gifts. We gain prestige and renown for the dynasty and gold. All good, all good. It's nice for you to show up. So I still need to give away Ayazani. And I shall grant this to... Prince Ishkan of Mesopotamia. He does not hold any titles yet. He is humble, zealous, stubborn, insightful thinker, and hale. Seems like a decent person. Do I have any friends that don't have any titles? Just my brother. But he's already a, a baron. He's already a baron. I do not want him to hold the county here in that barony. So let's not do that. Yeah, Prince Ishkam. Welcome to the life of a count. You're welcome. You are welcome. Yeah, you see you get a nice little hat. All looking good. And now I need to get rid of the Duchy of Anatolia. 
because that is giving me a penalty, an opinion penalty. I could give it back to the previous, to the previous duchess. But these guys, for instance, they are never going to convert. Yeah, they are going to request something. I don't have a, a hook. Uh, let's try another one. And if I give away the duchy, they are no longer going to be my vassals. So I won't be able to demand their, their conversion. But if I go to the countess, Demand conversion. She might accept, but she will ask for something in return. God damn it. Okay, so I'm going to grant this to one of the ones I just made a count. Either Count Nicholas or Count Ishkam. So Count Ishkam as a 150 troops is that it but it shows oh no this is this is from his allies oh oh i should not have done this because their children are going to inherit this this is going to be part of mesopotamia or well, maybe not. Let's hope not. So I'm not going to grant this to him. Ishkam. No, that was Ishkam. So what about... Nicholas. Nicholas does not have a ch uh, any children. And his wife does not have any titles. So you can definitely become... The Duke. Okay. Count Nicholas, you are going to become the Prince of Anatolia. Grand titles. This should make you a tiny bit stronger. And I should protect you if you have any problems with your... With your vassals. That are not going to like the fact that you are not of their religion and culture. But it's going to be all good. Also, there's this here. What should I do with you? Can I demand your conversion? Might accept, so we will ask for something in return. Okay. Can ransom Miriti? Oh, I can ask for a ransom from you. Yeah, sure. Why not? And also, I don't have a court physician. Can I get one? Uh, search for physician. New Marshall Perk. I have the strategist one already. I think I was going for this. Spouse opinion plus 50. Skills from spouse. Counselor tasks plus 25%. That is good. Then peacemaker and gallant by the end. And I would get plus two martial plus four prowess. And increased prestige. Am I going to be able to complete this? I'm unsure... But I think I never actually managed to, com to complete all three trees with, with one of my characters. So, new five, three options. 
I have Gadar. She is a novice physician. Then Aza. Which is, ven who is vengeful. So she does know how to work with knives. Might be useful. And Tarmas claims to be uh, trained in alternative medicine. I mean, Gadar seems to be a good option. Novice physician, she can still improve. I pay 300. I, I have quite a lot. Quite a lot of money available. So, what is this? A courtier scorns. Why would you honor that witch, Gadar, with a position at court and not me? My courtier, Yazunga, is livid. Apparently, he had been certain that the honor would befall him and no one else. You were my commander just recently, so be happy with that. Just be happy with that. He can become my bodyguard. He only has nine prowess. And he's deceitful. I'm not, I'm not going to have a deceitful callous knave as my my bodyguard. Come off it. Yeah, not a chance. Borena Bagratuni Tskumi. As the metal smith inspiration, she wants to forge something wondrous. Her skill is merely decent. Then I don't think I'm going to take that. Yeah, no. Walter Hoving, uh, as the metal smith smith inspiration, he wants to forge regalia or regalia, regalia. I'll say regalia. I'm not sure. Is very competent at his craft. So let's bring him in. Let's accept this one. And Unbeliever. While performing his duties as my spy master, Prince Cued has uncovered the secret held by my vassal Mayor Melitush. He seems to be harboring doubts about apostolic doctrine. Oh, Melitus, what would the clergy say? Mayor Melitus, my vassal. My vassal and knight. The sign of a weak soul, but my character is not zealous, so I'm not going to worry a lot about that. A motto for the ages. I can hear my beneficiary Walter muttering to himself from across the hall. I need something great, something epic. To make my creation stand out from the uninspired masses. But what? Just what? When his spirited eyes meet my eyes on my floating head, he breaks out into a huge smile and waves to me. My lord, what an amazing idea! Just perfect! What do you think of adding your family's motto to your commission? Yeah, sure. Perfect. I, I think I prefer getting more renowned than prestige because I have plenty of prestige. I can imprison Princess Hudi, my vassal, because she's a fornicator. She likes me. She likes me. So I'm not going to do that. I shall not do that. So my, st my son still doesn't have any children. He cannot... Oh, and his wife, I think, is now past the age of getting pregnant. Why did I give him such a... an old wife? So it seems like he is not going to have any children. That is tricky. That is tricky. This is ridiculous, Taplo protests. 
As the keeper of the king's personal collection, I have a responsibility to ensure, ensure the quality of your work. You will see it once it's finished, Walter retorts. You should leave a man to his work when he is forging regalia fit for royalty. Taplo will ensure its quality, Walter. Or stick to your own duties. 60% chance of this being higher quality. Time to pour a breath of fresh air. And I can replace uh, Toplo with Walter as my antiquarian. Let me just see something. Uh, courtiers, court physicians, antiquarian. No, it would actually be a worse antiquarian. Barnaba would be a better one. What are the skills needed for this? Where do I see that? Uh, -da -pa -pa, learning and oh, having completed an inspiration. Well, he is going to complete an inspiration unless he runs away. She's not going to like this. But, uh, I mean, she's a drunkard. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think I can expect a lot from a drunkard. Is diligent and content and a diplomat. Okay, it's time for a breath of fresh air. I will, for a tiny bit of time, have a worse antiquarian, but then he should be better than her. Wait. Ah, okay. He's here. He's here. <laughs> oh, Toplo can become my new court jester. She would be a better court jester than Datavik. Would you look at that? A drunkard as the court jester? Yeah, why not? Let's appoint you. This costs me a bit of prestige, but... Yeah, there you are. Looking great. You still have a job. You still have a job, Taplo. Uh, what? My lord, it is not what it looks like, cries Duchess Yolande. As I enter my favorite dining hall, what it looks like is that she's utterly wrecked the room. Food cakes the walls, the tables are all but shattered, someone has stacked every chair into a pyramid, and the comatose form of Duchess Githa. It's her. Oh, totally nude. Lies face up and slathered in soup in one of my beds. The two diplomats only arrived yesterday. I gave them permission for a good meal and some light entertainment, not a party fit to raise hell itself. Who are these people? Chancellor for King Etienne III of France, and she is the Chancellor for King Starkad of Sweden. Okay. All right, you trashed it. You can clean it up. Servants, a mop. I lose legendary party aftermath. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, but this actually is bad. Legendary party aftermath. Can I gain Humbling Hull? Humbling suits me, because I'm humble.
Oh no, this party's not over yet. Someone fill my goblet. And I gain Mythic. Oh. Wait. <laughs> this is a bit out of character. Yeah, this is totally out of character. But I could have... <laughs> This character's court still bears the devastating after scars of a party so gloriously devastating that it lives on in local memory. Oh boy. No, alright, you trashed it. You can clean it up. Yeah, let's go for that. Makes sense, character-wise. Character Matilde... ...died. She was my ally. Oh... Alliance expired. Why was she my ally? I don't even remember... ...why she was my ally. Because this guy... is not from my house or dynasty. I don't know. Prince Q that uncovered the secret held by my vassal, Mayor Berjui. He seems to be harboring doubts about apostolic doctrine. Oh, Berjui, what would the clergy say? The sign of a weak soul. I won't mind. I will not mind. Um, guys, I will just have to, for a tiny bit, move. Like, it's going to take like 30 seconds. I'm not even going to swap to the break uh, scene. Uh, I'm just going to... Actually, it's it's actually fa easier if I do that. So I'll, I'll be back in like 30 seconds. Just a tiny bit. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to, well, clean my nose, <laughs> wipe my nose, and I did not want you to see it. And yeah, moving to the break screen is actually just faster because I don't have to turn off the mic and the camera. It's, it's easier because it's just clicking one button in the stream deck, so it's far easier for me to do. Uh, faction disbanded. Okay. Good, 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 good. You, Princess Nazani, are still in the county of Haik, uh, improving the development. It's still only, oh yeah, it's still going to take a bit. I mean, it's growing much faster than before, of course, and we're halfway through the next level because it was definitely, it was simply not growing. So I, I did not use that for, for some time. Considered opinion. My metalsmith Walter updates me on his progress, droning on about the limits of hammer and bellows as my mind reels with bold ideas for my regalia. Making uh, making may not be my personal forte, but that doesn't mean I can't have a say in how my money is spent. I have a few suggestions. This is probably going to work. But I gain stress because I'm humble. Yeah, Walter, Walter knows what he's doing. 
Walter knows what he's doing. Ah, no, I no. I want the full duchy claim. By the way. Oh. Ah, because they are still moving their their armies here. It's taking them a year and a half to get there. It takes them so long to move the troops here. I mean, I've heard this before. That it's a big issue with the Mongol Empire and that's why it cannot really um, move towards west that much. It's because it reaches a point in which it's so stretch, stretched and the troops are always uh, raised. The armies are always raised at the capital in the far east. Um, that it simply takes too long to get here and the defending armies have time to siege some stuff, to keep controlling their, their territory and gain war score with that. But I mean, in this case, if they get there, it's 50,000 men versus 500. I'm guessing that it won't be too hard for them to... Yeah, the account is not open. Login window. Oh, this actually is here. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Uh, the Byzantines are still fighting a war? No. What is this oh it's a rebellion what is huh defending against a peasant rebellion okay but it's not affecting the byzantine emperor weird So this peasant uprising is probably going to work. I did just want increased autonomy. Okay. Right, so I was thinking if I can declare war against some other people. Ooh. Caucasus. It's a Khan. My hook on bides are expired. <clears throat> so I can try to gain a, a bit more land. Okay, no more secrets here. I can try to gain... Which color am I? What do you mean? Which color is my clothes? Uh, are my clothes? If that's the question, they are green. Because it needs to be the same color as the background, as the, the green screen I have behind me. Uh, so it, it goes away. So we have a, an internal war. <clears throat> a liberty war. Liberty war. What is the consequence of a liberty war again? Uh, they reduce crown authority and that's it. Yeah, that's it. In the game? Ah, uh, so mine is this pinkish color. It's this pinkish. Byzantines are red. Mongols are blue. Wait. Oh, I totally forgot. I don't remember how the poem is. Roses are red, violets are blue. I don't remember the rest of it. <laughs> yeah, I still have a bit of coffee. This this is going to taste terrible now. Yikes, cold coffee. Yeah, don't do that, guys. Don't do that. 
How is it? Roses are red, violets are blue, and blah blah blah. I something of you. If you mess, if I mess with you, you're gonna destroy me. <laughs> okay. The so roses are red, violets are blue. If you mess with me, I'm gonna destroy you. Sounds sounds perfect. <laughs> Sounds just perfect. My vassal Mayor Gadar coasts me. Well met, liege. I've heard tell of your patronage of Walter the Metalsmith. They say he is forging regalia worthy of a king. Please take this and give it to him. I wouldn't want to miss the chance to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. Gadar has a reputation for generosity, and it seems she has found a new outlet for her spending. There are so many Gadars. So many Gadars. How generous. Yeah, I'll, I'll give the 15 gold to, to Walter. Slightly higher quality. I'll make sure he gets it. <laughs> no, I'll... I'll Take this and give it to him. It is a good one. I know. Imagine he sent that poem to the Mongols. That's a way to avoid a war. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not a poet, so I cannot uh, declaim or give a, uh, write a poem to the Khan. Over here, my lords, my beneficiary, Walter waves me over with a wide grin. I've toiled many days and nights and finally my work is done. He presents me with an object wrapped in cloth and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. A beautiful regalia set of excellent craftsmanship. It consists of an electrum scepter set with pieces of garnet, fine silk robes that have been embroidered with silver and an electro and a electrum an electrum cross bearing orb this is lovely is it better than the one i already have that is all that matters so regalia i have the armenian one this is the excellent one so the new one gives me more money from powerful vassals and romance scheme power. Oh no, actually it takes money away because the, the Armenian regalia would give me plus 4%. This one is only plus 3. Yeah, I'll keep the Armenian regalia. And I will repair it. Also, I need to spend money. Oh, Incitatos, the sick mare. As Incitatos trudges out of the stable, dragging her legs and hanging her head. I'm also hanging my head. <laughs> there can be no doubt the mare is sick. The stable master assures me there is a cure to be found for what ails her, but it comes at a hefty price. No price is too steep for my beloved Incitatos. Right, so I was going to say, I, I need to... Oh, there's another war here. Defending against blah, blah, blah. Count Romanos' claim on the Principality of Anatolia. Okay, it should not be a problem. Because he is still part of my territory. This guy actually is the stronger vassal in the Duchy of Anatolia. I should have given the, the Duchy to him. Temptation focus. So you should... Oh, yeah, you do have a lover. And you're possessed. Should I find secrets in your... in your lands. Maybe I will. 
Perhaps I will. Or, uh, let's remain safe. I have uh, quite a few vassals or quite a few people inside my realm that don't really share the culture and the, the religion. So I do think it's better if I just, if I just keep protecting myself uh, for now. Okay, let the internal wars continue. I'm not overly concerned with that. <sighs> Should I? Should I declare a war against the Mongols? I can get Dylam back. I could get Dylam back. Or I can get Persia. Dylan would would make sense. And I think I could easily do this. Although, no, 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 no. Uh, wait, should I? Wait, can I, uh, Prince Kaching's claims, no, no, I'm not pretty sure how, because supposedly, why is this always reverting to, to this map now? Um, I currently am able to, yeah, because of divine right. I can press several of my claims in a single war. Ah, but it probably needs to be my claims. Like my personal claims. This is all inside my territory. Just for... As a theoretical experience. Experiment. Principality of Georgia. You own Lori and Tbilisi. I have a claim on the both of this. Uh, but I cannot declare war against one of my uh, vassals. So it doesn't work as a test. Yeah. Because if I, if I was able to, to declare a holy war for two kingdoms that would be perfect but yeah no that that would be exploiting the system because then i would be able to declare for every single kingdom the mongol empire has and i would just wipe them out at once uh, but i think i will take the chance i think i will take the chance to to actually declare war on them now. Because they should be focusing here. But on the other hand, their troops should be closed by now. <clears throat> I'm a bit uncertain. It, it's always one target. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's not one of my personal claims. So it, it would never work like that. It would never work like that. Um... 